Welcome back. All right, Paula and I oh, just catching up. You know, <laughs> hadn't seen her in a hot second, so I know. Just catching up for the holidays. Uh, so last night was the Golden Globe Awards, and you were just mentioning how beautiful you said Oprah looked. I know. I thought Oprah looked amazing. And I love. She's all about purple because of the color purple. I know. Her dress was incredible. It's. It looked amazing. So we'll see who shows up. I'm hoping everybody comes. Uh, I was talking to Chris Luzader, of course, about Critics' Choice, and she said since they were on strike for so long, like f almost six months. She goes, everybody's aching to get out and do stuff. So oh. I bet everybody will attend, hopefully, next weekend. So hopefully we'll get some good photos for you. But let's recap some of the uh, winners from last night. Since so, we were there. Since we were there in the very, very back. <laughs> uh, most Best motion picture drama. Okay, the winner of these was Oppenheimer, which is kind of not a huge surprise. However, the front runner that was coming up close behind was Killers of the Flower Moon. So I think at the time it's kind of between those two and we'll see what happens at Critics' Choice. But, you know, huge hit last summer. Right, I Oppenheimer. haven't seen either. <laughs> me, <laughs> me neither. I guess but, I need to. <laughs> right, but Oppenheimer, there you go. Right. Okay, best motion picture, musical or comedy. Now here's the one, I always try, I'm a critic, but I vote the way a fan would vote because I'm like, what? Anyway, Poor Things with Emma Stone won comedy. I just think Barbie had such a huge social and economic impact, and it was good that, again, I'm not seeing poor things, so I, who right. am I to judge? But, come on, Barbie. I mean, let's go party. <laughs> Barbie? Yeah. Okay, so, poor things won, and I know Chris Luzier was not a fan. Now, here's the new category. Now, here, here was kind of the drama, and again, I don't know what happened with Golden Globes. A few years ago, they fell out of favor, and people were like giving back their Golden Globes and it was not diverse enough or something happened, but now it's obviously back in favor. And they created a new category called Cinematic and Box Office Achievement Award. Okay. Which at the time, people thought they just did it to nominate Taylor Swift for her movie to get her to come to the Golden Globes. Oh, Which by the it. way, it worked because you said she was there. She was there. In a green dress I saw. A beautiful dress. So she was there, so everybody thought, oh, they created this award for her, sure. however, Hallelujah, Barbie won. That did have the box office achievement. Like basically they should just say the award is for the highest grossing movie. Right. I mean, let's be honest. But Barbie deserved that one, of, I, in my opinion, of these. And again, I, was it a grab to get Taylor Swift to go and she fell for it? Yes. Yes, and you said the comedian made a joke about her as well. Uh-huh, she wasn't very happy. Oh, I gotta go back and watch that now. Yes, I guess they said something about uh, the Golden Globes and NFL and um, they're different because uh, Golden Globes isn't scanning, showing Taylor Swift all the time. Uh -huh. Something like that. Like, what? I'm the bad comedian here. Like, the, well, I, I get... guess the guy was really bad too. I actually was watching football to see mm -hmm. who the Chiefs were gonna play, so that's what I was doing. Okay. Um, so I went back and like looked all this stuff on right. the internet. <laughs> Which I did this morning as well. But again, you gotta learn to laugh at yourself. Uh -huh. Gotta laugh at yourself. Okay, our next category is Best television series, musical, or comedy. Now, the reason I brought this up is because I knew it was gonna win. I predicted this last week. Uh, the Bear won. Do I think it's a comedy? No. No. It's a drama. Do I think Jury Duty should have won? Because it's so different and it's amazing? Yes. So I'm kind of mad at them. However, The Bear has all the critical love. People love it. People love Jeremy Allen White. They love the cast. Do I think it's a comedy? No, but when you think about it, even Barry is not really a comedy. Only Murders the Building is a comedy. Ted Lasso has some dramatic moments. A Abbott Elementary is like the only classic like sitcom right. type show. Um, but yeah, the bear one. And then if we move on to, oh, is that my microphone? I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I'm hearing static, sorry. Oh. Let me hold mine right here. Surf All I know is I've just realized I don't watch enough TV. I thought I watched a lot of TV, but I haven't even heard of <laughs> half those shows. I haven't heard of these. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch the microphone to the next break. I'm so sorry, guys, I don't know what's happening. I didn't even touch it. Uh, best television limited series. Okay, the reason I put this in is because one of my top 10 shows of last year was Lessons in Chemistry oh. with Brie Larson. Well, it did not win. Beef won on Netflix and it was fine. I didn't, I'm a Netflix girl, like person and I haven't even seen this. I really couldn't have been into it that much. It was, I'm gonna have to switch microphones, guys. I'm well, here, so sorry. You wanna this talk is, into me? This is terrible, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. Limited uh, television, there we go. Paula, read that category. Okay, best television limited series, anthology, you have to give me one, series or <laughs> motion picture made for television. So the winner, well, we already said this, is the beef, right? Oh, that's the beef, oh, yeah. yes, okay. 
I'm on RF3 now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Best performance by a female actor in a television series, musical or comedy. And I bring this up because guess what? Look who won. The Bear. You know what? I the love Bear? I the finally bear. got one that I've watched. Which one? The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Maisel. I do love that one. Yes, I finally got one. So here's the thing. <laughs> I brought this up because The Bear won for Best Comedic Actress. The Bear won Jeremy Allen White for Best Comedic Actor. And when you look at all the other categories and the people who are like comedians or make you laugh during the show, these people don't make me laugh during the show because I don't think it's a comedy. What is The Bear about? It's about a restaurant in Chicago. And they're all, it's, it's hard to explain because it's very tense. Like wow. Maddie says she gets anxiety and stress when she watches it. Oh, and it's supposed to be a musical or a comedy. comedy. Oh, great. And it ain't no musical, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, now we'll switch to best performance by a female actor and supporting. Now this, I had to bring this one up because I have been preaching and singing and raising this to the mountains since it came out because I said Elizabeth Debicki in The Crown as Princess Diana not only did she look like her, she sounded like her, her mannerisms. I was like, this is Princess Diana just brought back to life a clone because she was so amazing. A lot of these people, amazing. She beat Meryl Streep. Wow. I mean, what? I started watching The Crown, so I need to go back since I'm going to London in like a week. Which seasons have you watched? Uh, I think I'm up to where, I'm, I'm not really sure. Okay, well, <laughs> kind of stopped. if you watch seasons, I believe, Mm, five and six. Elizabeth Debicki is in five and six. Okay. And she is perfection. And I, and I love Princess Diana, so. Well, that's what I'm saying. I followed her. I know her life. I know yep. her manners. I know the stuff. When you watch this, that's why, Paula, you'll be oh, like. It's her. It's her. It's her. She does such an amazing job. Oh, wow. It is, like, it gives me goosebumps. Now I'm going to go back and watch it. Oh, you have to. Start with five and six. Okay. And Elizabeth is just spot Perfect. on. So those were just some of the categories. And I know what I thought was ironic, I was telling producer Jake. So Joe Coy is the host last night. And his ex-girlfriend for quite a while is Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler is hosting the Critics' Choice next Sunday. Oh. I was like, what? how did that even work out where the two exes are hosting? I feel uh, like that shows? comedian is not going to have a job anymore because people are not liking him at all. Well, we did ask Angela Luna. She wouldn't care if I mentioned that. She goes, oh, I don't think he did that great a job. It wasn't landing. The jokes weren't landing, I guess, with the crowd. But, like I said before, and I told Jake, we both agreed, I loved when Ricky Gervais hosted because he just hits the Hollywood people right in the face. Right? They don't like it, but he hits them in the face. I don't care if you're the celebrity of Meryl Streep or an, an extra on a movie. We're all people. Right. You've got to laugh at yourself. Right. If you have become that famous and that well-known that you can't even laugh at yourself right. for the pop culture icon that you are, there's something wrong with you. You can't take yourself too seriously. No? I look at myself and laugh every day. <laughs> I Goodness. laugh at my, I am too. I, I feel myself. like life is too short not to just laugh. Thank you, my friend. Yes. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We're gonna have some Golden Globes trivia coming up after this. And we're gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh at ourselves <laughs> while we,